I'm talking to Raj Vaswani of the Wise Sun Alliance here at London in the LP1 Forum. Raj, you've spoken today about, about the organisation. Now, many people may not have heard too much about the Alliance. Tell us about the role you're playing in the IoT. Sure. So the Wise Sun Alliance offers a technical specification and an interoperability and certification program for technical technology stacks that support IoT and in various forms of networking. So whether that's home area networking or field area networking, which by which we mean kind of large scale outdoor networks, uh, the kinds of people talk about in utility networks like metering networks or outdoor street lighting networks and so on, the kinds of uh, applications that the LPWAN forum is discussing here today. Yes, because I mean, in IoT, interoperability is probably more important than, than has ever been needed before, isn't it? That's right, because there's now, when we talk about tens of millions, hundreds of millions, billions of devices, that sort of interoperability is really critical. And that's a key thing that the Wise Alliance provides because one of the things that we really believe in is being standards based. That's in contrast to some of the LPWAN technologies that we talk about today that are sort of still based on proprietary technologies. But being based on standards is not really enough because people implement standards differently, they tend to have lots of different options and so on. So simply stating that your standards based does not guarantee that two devices that implement that standard are going to be able to interoperate. What the Wyson Alliance does is defines the profile that actually describes what interoperability is supposed to be and then provides a real certification test program out of which the vendor exits with a sticker that says Wyson Alliance certified that actually says that interoperability is guaranteed. The analogy is really something like what the Wi-Fi Alliance does for some of those technologies. People don't usually buy necessarily the 802.11 technology that, that underlies Wi-Fi. They buy Wi-Fi because they know that if something has a Wi-Fi sticker, it's going to interoperate with everything else that has a Wi-Fi sticker. That's exactly what the Wyson Alliance does for this environment. Of course, the Wyson technology has a pretty impressive footprint of its own already around the world. Right. Um, so, so you know, we do have uh, over 100 uh, members in our in our ecosystem. It ranges from everything from silicon vendors to networking providers to device manufacturers and so on. And that collective has essentially deployed uh, well over, you know, probably 50 million devices worldwide at this point across all of these different applications. So, uh, utility applications, city applications, sensor applications. And, and so on. So the footprint is really uh, well established, the technology is well established, and very importantly actually the business benefits to be gained from these technologies are well established. Utilities and cities are standing up every day sort of saying, you know, I have this new system that helps me manage my lights, that helps me manage my traffic, and so on, and it's delivering real business benefits to me. So the Alliance, um, although it may not be Quite, uh, quite as well known, has really been very well established. We've, we've been deploying devices now for over a decade, um, and so much of this stuff has been very well vetted and proven. Well, that sounds an impressive track record to me. Thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you.